All I gotta do is put my mind Is it filming now? No. Oh, it's filming? Okay. Come follow me. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Thailand. Yay! Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Comment. Did I say subscribe? I did. The person behind the camera right now is Andy. Say hi, Andy. Hi. Speak up so people can hear you. Hi, hi. So today, we're going to be making baked chicken. For my, you know, for my man, you know what I'm saying? Because I be cooking around here because, you know, I'm a housewife. You know what I'm saying? I'm a housewife. You see all this? This is all me. <laughs> this is all me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you, um, uh, you, uh, shut up. Preheat the oven. The oven. The oven. <laughs> I normally put it on 425. So, we gonna preheat the oven to 425. You gonna get your chicken breast. Y'all see this? We got chicken breast. Mmm, come on over here. Come on. Oh, we got the water on. <laughs> so, if you gonna open this beat up like this, you know what I'm saying? Don't drag me for this video, y'all. I already washed my hands. I know some of y'all are gonna be petty and be like, oh my god, you didn't wash your hands. I washed my hands. And now you're gonna come over here. You gonna wash the chicken? Cause if y'all don't wash y'all chicken, y'all nasty. Nine times out of ten, I don't wash my chicken, so it's okay. I didn't get salmonella yet, but boom, washing that, wash that chicken, rinse that chicken off. You know what I'm saying? Extra marinated, extra marinated. Look, let it drip. Place some chicken. Come on over here. Don't be scared. The chicken ain't gonna jump up and bite you. Shit. Come on. <laughs> on over there. Ooh, it's still a little frozen on the back side, so. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to let some cold water drip on it. And we'll be right back. It's still a little bit wet. <laughs> you know, we like wet chicken, bitch. We don't need dry. <laughs> so place it on there like that. You ain't got to slap it down like I did, but you know, you got to get your point across. I have all my seasonings right here. I got the salt, bam. I got the pepper, bam. I got the Creole seasoning, bam. I got onion powder, garlic powder, bam. Paprika, crushed red peppers, bam. And last but not least, Parsley. I know what y'all are thinking. Oh my gosh, that sounds like high blood pressure and diabetes. Well, yeah, it is. So I came from Louisiana. So what do we do? We over season our shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm black. We, we season our stuff. I don't know what y'all what. Look, I don't know what y'all be doing in other states, but I, I see how y'all make y'all's turkey. You know, I'm not going to point out anybody specifically on the internet, but I see how y'all make y'all's turkeys. And child, that ain't how you make turkey. So what you're going to do is that you're going to lightly season the chicken one side with salt. Lightly season, lightly. Come on, come on over here, you ain't gonna be scared. And then you're gonna lightly season it with some pepper. Make sure your oven is on 425, preheat. You can do 450 if you're trying to hurry up, you know what I'm saying? 425 is good, especially for thin cut chicken breasts like this. Now, you're gonna get your Tony Cacacheris, whatever the other name, Creole seasoning. And you just gonna drench that bitch. I'm talking about that pussy is good, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about you gonna drench that pussy. After you drench one side with that, you're gonna get your garlic powder. You're just gonna lightly Season garlic powder over it like this, you know what I'm saying? Lightly. Just like that, just like that. Just you're gonna get your onion powder, do the same thing. You're gonna get your paprika. Now look, if y'all don't like spicy stuff, don't use Creole seasoning if you don't like spicy stuff. You got spice to it. Don't use paprika or cayenne pepper if you don't like spice. Paprika, this is great value, paprika too. It's cheap. Lightly, I'm talking about lightly season the chicken. Lightly with paprika. You're gonna get some crushed red pepper. I'm talking about and now, after you've done all that, you're gonna flip the chickens over, do the same shit. Yeah, I've seen people make their food and they don't season both sides of their meat. And I'm like, child, what are you doing? What, what, what you trying to do? If I wanted bare meat, damn bitch, I would have just killed the chicken myself and ate it right then and there. I don't know what you're talking about. So yeah, you just gotta, come on. Y'all better cook. I'm talking about y'all better cook. If y'all follow me on Instagram, which y'all should, Y'all know I be cooking. Now I be burning down my house while I'm cooking because I be doing 500 different things. I got two cheering and I be on the phone with my mama and everything like that. But yeah, I be burning down my house, but the food still be tasting extra crispy. But after, ooh, y'all didn't see that. <laughs> okay, so look, after y'all season both sides of y'all's chicken, um, after you season the second side, you're going to flip the chicken right back over like so on the top, 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 on the top. Make sure, you know, all your seasonings is all good, all on the chicken, you know what I'm saying? Mm, don't that, look, look, look. That's seasoning. Come, come on down, come on down. That's, that's seasoning on some chicken. If there is white part, which y'all see some white parts, but that's okay because the chicken was wet a little bit. If y'all see white on the chicken, that ain't seasoned. I don't want to hear nothing. This, 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 this raw girl. <coughs> There's my cutting board. You're going to get a cutting board out. You're going to get your red peppers. And you're going to get your, uh, what is this? Onion. 
and you'll get a knife. Now look, for all y'all cooking experts out there, I took culinary class and I don't remember shit. So, don't be like, why you, why you cutting it with that knife? Why you cut? Mind your business. All right, it's a knife. It, knives are used to cut things. I don't care if it makes it easier. You just cut it. So, you know, get your red pepper. <laughs> Excuse me. All nice and good, you know what I'm saying? Cut up that red pepper, girl. Don't be scared to slice your finger off. This is good food. Slice that bitch. Get that bitch. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey! <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm having too much fun cooking. Oh, I gotta do cooking with Thailand a little bit more often. What y'all think? Can I get a round of applause from the audience? Woo! So now, after you slice that, you gonna bring it on over back to the chicken. And then you just gonna sprinkle that bitch. <laughs> sprinkle that bitch. <laughs> sprinkle that bitch. Uh, yeah, uh, uh. Now you're gonna come back over. And then you're gonna slice your onion. I don't, I'm, I think you're supposed to peel this off. I think you're supposed to. That's what I do every time. Now look, don't, don't yell at me if that's not what I'm supposed to do, but I do. So what you do is, is that <laughs> I took culinary classes, remember that. Um, <laughs> Y'all eyes getting water is it just me? Oh child, I'm crying. Hold up. Did somebody leave on a sad song? Is there a sad movie on? Y'all my eyes what? Yes. You gonna bring your onions over here? Sprinkle it. Dab on that chicken. Dab on that chicken. Dip, 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 dip. Dab on that chicken. Dab, dip, 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 dip. Remix. Have a nice, oof. Mm-hmm, I'm ready. So now what you gonna do is now, you gonna get you a stick of butter, however much butter you want, you know. I normally just, I cut up my butter like so, and I put it on the sides of the chicken, you know, like, just to give it some, excuse me, I burp. And put it on the sides just so to, uh, well, I'm using a glass pan so the chicken won't really stick, but the butter will also add some flavor to the chicken as well. So I normally put at least three on one side, three on the other, and then one in on the sides of the chicken. So now, after you follow all these steps with your chicken, go ahead and plop that bitch in the oven. <laughs> you know like how clean my oven is? It's new. <laughs> like, set the timer on for a good 18 minutes or so. 20. I'm gonna check on it at 18. So, yeah, we're just gonna let the, uh, the, 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 the. <laughs> We gonna let the chicken sit, you know what I'm saying? We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I forgot about the uh, corn and green beans. I know I cleaned up a little bit. You know, clean, cook as, uh, what's the saying? Clean as you cook. There you go. You clean as you cook, so at the end, whenever you all are fat and full, and you like, then you ain't gotta move because everything already clean. I'm trying to learn that as I go. So, canned green beans, some canned corn. Ooh, y'all like how it's fat. Ooh, bust it down, that thing out <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so you're gonna get out your, uh, your pans and stuff. Get out your can opener. Come on, come on down. Look, look, look at this, look at this. Ooh. You know, this is just gonna be sitting on the stove while your chicken is in the oven. So you don't have to like, you know, just put it on, um, put the stove, put the stove on high. You can literally just set it to four. I put a little bit of salt on my green beans. I put a little bit of salt on my corn. I'm running out of salt, y'all. Probably because I don't lightly season, but. <laughs> And then you put a little bit of pepper on here too. Put a little bit of pepper over there. Mm, make it look good. And now, for the corn, I always, and I highly recommend everybody do the same. Even if it says buttered corn, add some more butter. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, y'all, now the oven went out, you know what I'm saying? That means the chicken is done. The chicken is done. The chicken is done. The green beans are hot. The corn is buttered. Oh wait, hold up. Y'all gotta mix the butter actually in the corn. I'm sorry. That's why it's called buttered corn. So yeah, mix that whole like that, like so. All right, now get your mittens. Don't make fun of my mittens. I be cooking. You know what I'm saying? I be cooking. That's why they dirty a little bit. You know what I'm we can get down dirty. You know, that's not the only thing to get dirty. <laughs> All right, so get out the chicken out the oven. Oof, yes, love. Oh, y'all hear that sizzling, all that butter, that sizzling butter, ooh. Look at that, you got the onions, you got the bell peppers and all the butter and all the juices just sitting there. Don't forget to turn off your oven because you don't want your house to burn down. <laughs> don't do that. So I know I put away the parsley. 
But you get out the parsley. And then you sprinkle some parsley on the chicken. Boom, girl. Ooh. 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 <laughs> look at that. Come on, Dad. Come lay that chicken good. Come look at that chicken. Look at that chicken look good. Yeah, that chicken look good, girl. Yeah, that chicken look good. You know what I'm saying? I gotta come out. Voila. Oh, we, we, oh, come on, do that. say moi, not you. My boo boo. Baby. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you know, do you know what, what uh, language that was? French. No, it was Thailand. Uh. <laughs> now, Anthony works nights, so he's not gonna get home until another 12 hours. Literally. Like 12 hours or so. So the chicken and stuff, I'm um, just gonna have to sit here. I'm gonna wrap it up in some foil and stuff. I'm gonna eat some. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some. I'm not gonna get that on camera because I'm gonna catch his reaction. So we'll be back in a good 10 to 12 hours, which would be 4 a.m. Hey, Russ. <clears throat> he is asleep right now because y'all know he works overnights. He works like 14 hour shifts, but um, he loved the food. That's all that matters. Um, he went straight to sleep, so I couldn't catch his reaction. But anyways, I'll be doing more cooking videos. You know what I'm saying? Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment, and goodbye.